Welcome to motivation at hand. To know is to know how. Make your foot the foot that counts. In a world where disposability reigns, there's power in what repair sustains. Embrace your skills, don't be afraid. To mend what's broken, come what may. With guidance sought and hands aligned. Expensive appliances need not be resigned. Follow instructions, step by step. Building the knowledge gap. In today's consumer-driven society, the disposal of appliances and electronics has become a routine occurrence. From smartphones to refrigerators, the lifespan of these products often ends prematurely due to a variety of factors, including perceived obsolescence, technological advancements, and high repair costs. This trend not only contributes to environmental degradation but also carries significant economic consequences. To understand the economic impact of this phenomenon, it's crucial to examine the costs associated with waste management, resource depletion, and the loss of potential savings from repair. While quantifying these costs precisely is challenging, various factors shed light on the magnitude of the issue. Firstly, consider the lifespan of appliances compared to their actual replacement rate. Many products are disposed of long before the end of their expected lifespan, leading to unnecessary waste. For instance, a washing machine designed to last a decade might be replaced after only a few years due to repair costs exceeding the perceived value of the appliance. This premature disposal results in a loss of potential savings and contributes to the economic burden of waste management. Furthermore, the environmental and social costs associated with waste disposal cannot be overlooked. Landfill fees, recycling expenses, and pollution. Cleanup efforts all incur economic costs, but the indirect impacts on ecosystems and public health are equally significant. These costs are often borne by society as a whole, further exacerbating the economic burden of premature disposal. On the other hand, promoting repair and reuse initiatives can mitigate these economic losses. Repair shops and services play a crucial role in extending the lifespan of appliances and electronics, thereby reducing the need for premature disposal. Moreover, repair shops contribute to local economies by providing jobs and supporting small businesses. The closure of these establishments due to a lack of demand or other factors can have ripple effects on communities, highlighting the interconnectedness of economic and environmental sustainability. Systematically, the economic impact of premature disposal is significant and multifaceted. By investing in repair shops and supporting policies that prioritize repairability, we can address the root causes of waste and build a more resilient economy for generations to come. The movement for consumer rights regarding repair and sustainability has been gaining momentum over the past decade or so. However, it's essential to note that the specific initiatives and legislative efforts aimed at addressing the issue of disposable products and promoting repairability have varied by region and industry. Here's a rough timeline of key events and developments. Early 2010s Concerns about electronic waste and the difficulty of repairing consumer electronics start to gain attention. Websites and communities dedicated to DIY repairs and hacking emerge. Mid to late 2010s, the right to repair movement gains traction, particularly in the United States and Europe. Advocacy groups, repair organizations, and independent repair shops begin pushing for legislation that would require manufacturers to provide repair manuals, tools, and spare parts to consumers and third-party repair shops. Late 2010s to early 2020s, several states in the U.S. introduce right-to-repair bills, although progress varies. In Europe, the European Union starts exploring legislative measures to promote repairability and sustainability, including the Circular Economy Action Plan. 2020s, the right-to-repair movement continues to grow, 
with increasing public awareness and support from lawmakers. More states in the U.S. consider right to repair legislation, and some states pass laws related to electronic waste and recycling. 2021 to 2022, some significant developments occur, such as the European Parliament voting in favor of a right to repair resolution and the U.S. Federal Trade Commission FTC, releasing a report advocating for right to repair measures. Overall, while the movement for consumer rights regarding repair and sustainability has been gaining momentum over the past decade, significant progress in terms of legislative action and industry changes has occurred more recently, particularly in the past few years. However, the pace and extent of change vary depending on factors such as regional policies, industry lobbying, consumer activism, and technological advancements. Three free resources that will assist you in your DIY project. 1. Fix It 101.mpbonlin.org reports. Do you have a leaky faucet? Would you like to put a ceiling fan in your bedroom? Or maybe you want to mount a flat screen TV to the wall? Welcome to Fix It 101. Tune in Wednesdays at 9 a.m. and let's get some of those home projects done. Whether it's a plumbing problem or an electrical question, call in and find out if you can do that home repair yourself or if you need to call a professional. You may be handier than you think you are. It's Fix It 101, Wednesday mornings at 9 on MPB Think Radio. 2. The Personal Computer Show on WBAI.org in New York City reports. Bringing computer industry news, hardware and software reviews, guest interviews and news of user group meetings for over 35 years. The Personal Computer Show is a three-time winner of the prestigious National Computer Press Awards. 3. Cheap RV Living on YouTube, reports on his community tab on Friday, February 2, 2024. Attention Nomads and Mobile Community. We're thrilled to announce the public launch of the Homes on Wheels Alliance online bulletin board homes on wheezealliance.org. An extension of the trusted Rubber Tramp Rendezvous Bulletin Board, now accessible online to the entire mobile community all year round. In the face of challenge, don't retreat. Empowerment lies in what we meet. Join hands with others, seek assistance near. In fixing together, it's not just a dare. For in the act of repair, we find a bond of strength, talents entwined. Much appreciation to you for giving of your time with us at Motivation at Hand. To know is to know how. We trust you will come back soon.